Hello and welcome back to Excel Share Academy. So this is the third part of the Life Sciences PG interview sample questions. So again, I would like to remind you these are the questions which are collected from the NCBS, IIC, IIC, Pune, CCMB, NC, etc. So these are the this is the last part because uh, I mean this these many questions only I was able to collect. I was able to collect from the juniors, colleagues, and all my uh, friends all over these places. So let's see what are those different questions and let's uh, try to storm our brains. Okay, yeah. So 26th question since it is the uh, since it is the third part. So it is just in the continuation only. So in the chemical reaction given below, find a relation between uh, equilibrium uh, constant 1, 2 and 3. So this is again very basic because this already we have done the uh, derivation of these equations. So can you come at the same relation you derived using the thermodynamics. So just apply the law of thermodynamics and just you have to see whether you are able to do or not. Okay. And now moving on to the next question. So what is absorbance? Uh, what is absorbance and um, one second. Yeah. Uh, why do you use absorbance maxima? Now, this is very important. Now, what do you mean by maxima? I'll just give you the hint. If this is the graph, this is the wavelength in nanometer, then this is the fluorescence. Then, whatever scan you get, this is at the maximum. It is going to call as the absorption maxima. Okay. Now, what if you get two peaks instead of one absorption maxima? Which one will you use and why? So, suppose you get like this. So which one you're going to use it's very obvious the answer is very obvious and why also because see all first of all you need to understand what is maxima over here okay you can take the example of protein and talk about it so it's very beautifully you can actually beautifully explain with the help of protein the hint what i'm going to give you is the example of tyrosine and tryptophan okay so use these hints and justify your answer now going on to the next question you start with one DNA duplex and do a PC of 30 cycles. How many DNA molecules will you get? Estimate the number. So, so you need to give the answers over here. This is again very simple. Okay. It's very straightforward. Now, what is equilibrium dialysis? See, this is also very simple. The thing is that I know I'm saying again and again that these are very simple, simple, simple. So whenever I say it's very simple, it means those are the straightforward answers. You don't have to think a lot. If you know the theory, you can just answer it. So you know what is equilibrium dialysis. Anything over here, it reaches the equilibrium. Okay, now this happens during the dialysis. So this, uh, I can give the example when you do for your protein analysis, that time you can use for the equilibrium dialysis. Okay, next. You have a 50 ml solution of pH 1, 50 ml solution of pH 3. You mix it, then what is the final pH? Again, this is easy. You can solve it. Okay, so there's the formula. You can use that. Direct questions. You have 50 ml of 100 millimolar solution and 100 ml of 100 millimolar solution. You mix them. What is the final concentration? Again, use your M1, V1 wala formula. Then you can get the answer. Now, why is the range of the pH from 0 to 14? Is it 0 to 14? or 1 to 14 now again the question is there now why it is always till 14 only why not it is till 20 right you need to think we never ask these kinds of question to ourselves but this is the right time ask these questions to yourself get the answer and be prepared for your interview moving on to the next you are standing in front of baroda railway station and not noting the height of each person coming out of the station so draw the graph out of your imagination. What will be the shape? Where will it start from? Where will it end? What would be on the x-axis and y-axis? Put some values also. So if you know something about uh, the polygenic inheritance, then you can give this answer very well. You find a blue colored mango tree in your mango orchard. You would like to map its gene and propagate in future mango trees. Will, uh, you will grow. How will you go about it? Of course, there's something called about the gene isolation there from there you can start your answer so here you need to design your experiment how exactly you're going to uh, retrieve the gene and how you're going to preserve it so that in future also you're going to get the blue color uh, mango now i pick up a fly from a bottle of flies and put it into another bottle which was empty how will you find it if it is male or female without using microscope read the question carefully you may be assuming a lot of things 
yeah so how are you gonna do again flies think about the size it is in the different way and one more thing the way they rotate whenever they are searching something the they rotate that is also going to help you in giving the answer okay now you made a yellow fly with a yellow fly you would expect the options to be yellow but it turns out to be brown now give reasons hypothesis there's something about mar body study it is there in the genetics peers book direct question read go and read carefully now make a solution of 10% NaOH 100 ml read the question carefully you may be assuming a lot of things yeah again this is very simple now in some cases mating is regulated by circadian rhythms why direct question it is you need to know the answer see again again the main motto of these interview sessions are that i can give you the answers but again it is not going to help you because i know that many people are going to buy hard the answers which i'm going to give right so that is what is not required during the interview you need to develop your own thinking ability your own way of giving the answers okay now you have an append of containing dna and another one containing rna differentiate them without using the centrifugation viscosity or gel electrophoresis again this is something about white pool of dna this is the hint i have given you now what is the importance of studying protein protein interactions in vivo what is the difference between in vivo and in vitro protein protein interactions it's a very direct question uh, if two proteins interact in vitro but in not in in vivo what can be the reasons what if they interact in vivo but not in in vitro so for this you need to understand what to mean by protein protein interactions what are the techniques used to study these interactions so when you say about protein protein you need to understand something about spr okay itc is also there so if you study all these techniques you will be very thorough with the uh, theory and then you can give the answers also this is the last slide so what are the difference between in vivo and in vitro protein folding yes very simple so those people who are working in the lab they must be knowing the answers very beautifully now why are proteins phosphorylated what are the uses phosphorylation why not methylated again phosphorylation means it is adding the phosphate group right uh, it is adding the phosphate group phosphate group addition means it is going to talk about the kinase so we know that there are many pathways which is involving the kinases and not the methylated one right so you need to understand here why uh, the post translation modification uh, of proteins where it is having the phosphorylation or methylation now where the methylation is playing what kind of role it is playing study here about um, sumo proteins also okay just the additional thing now what are the ways in which two proteins can interact again direct please so as i already mentioned if you study the leninger third fourth fifth chapter of the proteins then you can answer half of the questions which is given in these uh, interview sessions now last question draw the bacterial growth curve on the same curve draw the concentration of ahl okay it is actually a quorum sensing molecule which is also called the auto inducer also on the same curve draw the age of concentration when the bacterium is not able to sense so here they are talking about the quorum sensing and uh, please along with this question study about the biofilm formation also okay this is just the additional if you are able to study it is better for you guys okay so thank you again and uh, i really hope this is again you know storming your brain and uh, making you restless to know the answers and i'm sure you're using google your textbooks asking your friends whatever help you need please go for it and try to get these answers and uh, let me know if it was helpful so thank you people